Hello, everybody. I'm your host, Eric Bird, here at StopStrugglingNow.com. And tonight, we're going to talk about it, how to create wealth for life. That's right. And welcome. Stop Struggling Now gear. Check. And please like, subscribe, and click the bell below so you get the latest updates. Now, let's get to it. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I had a little time error, so I had to change the time last minute, but hopefully that didn't distract anybody because we're still starting around 5.50-ish p.m. Pacific time, 8.50-ish p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So I want to welcome you once again for being here, how to create wealth for life. You have any ideas, ladies and gentlemen? Well, we're going to talk about a few options tonight. And you know what that means. SSN Nation Money Making Mondays is in the house and it is the live stream. So I want to thank you all for being here once again. And before I start, let's talk about smashing the like button. Why? The YouTube gods need to know that we have people in the house watching the live stream. That would be greatly appreciated. And as they say, it's free to smash the like button. All right. We're going to get into a few things because it's Cyber Monday. So how can I forget? We got to still talk about saving money. You guys know I have the Tafosi Optics most of the time. Well, they have 25% off all sunglasses today, Cyber Monday. No special code is needed as far as I know, but you can simply go to TafosiOptics.com. In fact, I should have put it on the screen. But you use Cyber Monday. That's the code for 25% off. The sunglasses are already, let's just call them affordable, taking taking 25% more off. That is a good thing. I'm going to put it on the screen just so everybody can see where I'm talking, what I'm talking about here. Tofosi Optics. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. You can see right at the top, Cyber Monday. We're going to be talking about assets tonight, how to get those. We need streams of income. We definitely going to talk about what are considered asset classes. So then, therefore, nobody's going to be confused. All right. That's the way to go. You guys know how to spell Tafosi. You can see it on the screen. And then you put optics.com. It's simple as that. All right. I'm going to remove that. Remember, Cyber Monday, 25% off. And then I'm going to get into asset classes because without knowing the asset classes, then there you're not going to re- realize how to create this wealth for life. And basically, wealth isn't necessarily what a lot of people think about. A lot of people think about the cars, the homes, things of that ilk. In reality, it's freedom. Your time and freedom to do what you want is actually the wealth. And also, you've always heard of health as wealth. So as long as you're healthy, you can go in anywhere you want, anytime you want. That is actually wealth. It has nothing to do with the amount of money you have in your bank account. It has nothing to do with the amount of uh, items you own. It has to do with yourself. If you have the freedom to do what you want to do, then you are going to be wealthy. But the only way you can do that is you're going to need some streams of income, right? That's the only way you can do this. And so in true fashion, this is what we do here. This is how we do it. Asset classes. I'm going to show you. I'm going to pull it up. This is very simple. I hope you can see the screen here. There's. I'm not using anybody's definition other than what's going to be on the screen. I pulled up the 12 asset classes because some people consider assets different things like I do as well. But this 12 
Some people say there's five, seven, 12, nine asset classes. It's all over the map. But there's one thing that's needed, cash or cash equivalents. And I like how this says cash and cash equivalents because it's not so much that you're going to need cash as in the physical cash. You're going to need actually cash equivalents. And what does that mean? To me, what it means is I need cash is liquid, but cash is deteriorating every day because what you could buy today with cash, you're not going to be able to buy next week, next month with the same amount of cash. You're going to need more cash. So therefore, if you have a cash equivalent, which is what I like to round into what they're going to end up cause it, calling equities, which are stocks. That's what I also say are cash because you can actually sell your stocks and cash out now in 24 hours and have it in your bank account. So to me, it's liquid. But why would you let your cash deteriorate? You should be using assets and things like that to put into vehicles where you're earning interest on your money or your money has a way to go up. And I'm referring to cash. So think about that and the equivalent of cash. So again, once you change into equities, which are another asset class, you still, in my book, it's cash. We're going to talk about something else that's on this list that's very interesting, but it's an asset nonetheless. Bonds. I'm going to show you a list of the futures for tomorrow and the stock market. And bonds is very interesting because bonds are usually associated with the normal financial system where you've heard of 10-year treasury bonds two-year treasury bonds, five-year bonds. And you've heard of cities that have bonds and that's how taxpayers actually fund like stadiums and building projects or whatever they're trying to do in cities and states. People buy these bonds expecting to return later. That's fine, but generally they only return 1%, 3%, 5%, 7%, well below inflation numbers. So you're giving people money but you're losing buying power for investing in these bonds. So is that really an asset? I don't think so. Let me know what you think. And do you have your pen, pad, and pencil ready today? Because you never know what gems are going to be dropped in the chat room, ladies and gentlemen. You just never, ever know. And again, I apologize. I had to change the time and because I realized I put 8.50 p.m. Eastern time. I mean, 8.50 p.m. on the live stream. So it would have started at 11.50 p.m., almost midnight Eastern. So I had to change it last minute. So it kind of restructured the live stream. But I'm glad people are here. And let me see who's in the house. We have Silverman Foxes in the house. Welcome to the SSN Nation Money Making Mondays live stream. Thank you so much for being here and with the icon next to your name. Hello, hello to you too. And by the way, everybody with the mem with an icon next to their name, you can join me on the live streams if you ever want to. All you have to do is look under the community tab on the YouTube channel, on our Stop Struggling Now YouTube channel. Under the community tab, you'll find the link to come into the live stream. You don't have to show your face. You can show an icon like Prometheus did yesterday on the live stream. So that's all you have to do. So I want to thank you once again, Silverman Fox, for being in the house. So again, assets, ladies and gentlemen, I talked about getting these all of 2021, but we have other assets that is not on this list. Look at here, derivatives. How many times have you guys heard me talk about derivatives? using it in a positive way, whereas Wall Street also uses it in a positive way for them, but it's in a negative way for us because they are packaging, packaging up our, our mortgages, your car loans. They're packaging these up, selling them to another party as a big payday. So they package things up. It could be a $50 million, this package. Then they sell it to somebody who pays them up front 25 million or 20 million, let's say. So that's a derivative. They get the $20 million, let's say. The other people who bought the package, they are now looking for that remainder of $50 million. But that $50 million, in the case of a home, cars, or anything that has a contract, is going to be paid over time. 
So that is what a derivative is. And basically, this is also like uh, revenue lending, asset based lending. You can get away with this derivatives because the values today, and if you have a large sum of properties or the quantity of contracts, you can sell your contracts, i.e., a fitness, a gym. They have a derivative. That's what I always call it because when a person goes in to sign a contract for $20 or $40 a month, that equals a certain number. Let's say $40 a month equals $480. So now the, the, the gym cannot survive on signing people up at these $30 or $40 a month because their bills are 20 grand. You're going to need to sign up a lot of people just to get that monthly nut to pay. So what happens is they sit there and they get you to sign a contract. That contract is key because now you sign up a thousand people during the month at $40 a month, never mind anything else. That's 480 times a thousand. That's $480,000 on paper. So now they get to go down somewhere else and say, hey, will you buy this paper from me at what rate? Sometimes it's 40%, sometimes it's 30, but these guys can walk out of there and have 100,000, 120, $150,000 every month just from these contracts and the other company. And that's why a fitness center, you normally don't have the fitness center name that you're paying. It's usually another entity that you pay because they are using derivatives where they can get all this money up front. They forget the back end because they can get that 120 hundred thousand dollars today so now next month we're going to get another hundred thousand because we need to sign up another thousand people let's say so that's why they go out of business most of the time not all the time but that is why because they're leveraged and they always have to have new customers all right those are the things you have to remember so that is like a derivative you've heard me talk about this before equities those are stocks generally and we've talked about stocks. We're going to talk about some tonight because uh, Mr. Financial actually put some things in the chat room just today. AMD's up, NVIDIA's up, Tesla's up. And we're not talking about 0.5 or 1% in a day. This is 3%, 4% in a day. Of course, there was a mini dip this past week. How many of you decided to buy in? So, who says, hey, I, I'm going to earn 4% in one day? Potentially tomorrow, it's another 2 or 3%. So by the time the week passes, it could be a 10% increase. But did you take a risk and buy in some more? I get it. It's an investment, and all investments are a risk. All right, but let me know. Okay, let's see who else is in the house. We have Jamal Farah in the house. He has crypto. Yes. Jamal Farah, crypto, as far as I'm concerned, is not on this list, but it is. And I'm going to get to the end of that. That is known as alternative investments. But crypto is only 12 years old. That's why it's not considered the asset yet, because it hasn't been around long enough, because we don't know what's going to happen if there's another recession, do we? It's going to be very interesting. But anyhow, that's going to be on the list as well. Diesel Mike. Welcome to the SSN Nation Money Making Monday live stream. And he has the icon next to his name. And he has his tagline. Good evening, Eric and SSN family. Good evening to you too. Thank you so much for being here. A rare treat. Back to back live streams yesterday and today. Yes, exactly. Two live streams in a row is very rare indeed. But thank you so much for mentioning that as a treat. I love that analogy that wording i love it so we're going to keep going ladies and gentlemen if you have anything to say let me know because we are talking about what are considered assets and what you can do about it because it's money making mondays all right let's see what else let me make sure i'm going to pull myself back up on the screen here real quick because the next thing is real estate and you guys already know i was talking about real estate not just last year with the pre-construction, but we've been talking about real estate, stocks, derivatives for the last three years. So nobody should be uh, confused as to what assets really are. You might have looked at them as streams of income, a way to make money for a long time, which is what it is. Real estate, 
stocks and equities, derivatives, all these are long terms. And why I call derivatives long term is because generally you have a business that is that creates contracts or that creates assets that you're obtaining and then you're able to package them together so it's ongoing. So that's why you can always keep doing it because when you sell the derivative package, you can go in and buy more. Just like you can borrow money for the derivative package as well and then use that money to buy more. And by the way, this is what is going on with these crypto DAOs. Very, very powerful. And we're going to get into this tonight as well. All right. Now, next on this list, this is the one I've been beating up lately, the gold. The gold, the gold is considered an asset. Now, around the world for thousands of years, gold has always been a staple of an exchange. So it's fair enough to call it an asset. Traditionally, in the I'll call it the old financial system, gold seemed to be more, much more valuable. It seemed to back your assets, your country, your city, your state. It was backed. Now they don't back it with anything but thin air. So I'm talking about fiat dollars. Gold is still gold, but it's being manipulated just as all resources, precious metals. It doesn't matter if it's diamonds. It doesn't matter what it is. It's all being manipulated. And again, I'll direct you to diamonds. People think they're very rare and all that. I highly suggest you study and find out that they are not rare. It's just that the De Beers group, who are in Europe, they were able to basically have a monopoly, insert that, and then market the diamond industry, industry starting in 1930s, ladies and gentlemen. They made it where a man proposes with diamonds on the movie screen. That was part of their publicity. Up until the 1920s, 30s, people did not have to go buy a ring or a diamond to show their love. That is a Hollywood thing, which is mainstream now. And they have people out here spending thousands and thousands of dollars that they don't have on rings. It's incredible. And actually, they aren't rare. So anyhow, Google that, ladies and gentlemen, write it down, study a little bit and see how you're being played, because that is part of the program. They're trying to make sure that you spend your money on something that doesn't really do anything, doesn't help you out. You don't have anything coming through the door by having any diamonds on your fingers. OK, that's not going to help you. All right. Now, commodities. I'm glad they brought that up because a lot of people do not understand commodities. And I always kind of associate this with consumer durables because when you need food, when we need wheat, when we need soybean, when we need sugar and coffee, I'm going to bring it up on the screen because this is futures and commodities because the next thing is alternative investments, which lead us down that path to crypto right so uh hold on a second let me uh pull this up i guess i messed up a little bit it's okay all right so i'm going to pull up stocks market this is cnbc futures and commodities so you guys understand where we're at here these are opportunities again for you to make investments What's going to happen when there's a recession? Well, you're seeing it play out on the screen here. Oil is energy. Oil, gas. Look at what's happening. Even though it's minor, 1%, 2%. These are rate rising, which means should you invest in oil companies like Shell, Texaco, whoever? Yes, this is what you should do. Metals, you see next. Considered commodities, as you already saw, gold. But what about copper? What about platinum? What about silver? Yes, a little bit of that. But you guys know my philosophy. Get it on the stock market with the ETFs. So that's why you get the DRDs, the AUIs, 
That's why you get those type of stocks because now it's an ETF and some of them give us dividends. Better than sitting in a black hole, we get dividends on this. All right, BTG. All right, these are some of these mining companies as well. So again, you have the playbook here. Look at here, commodities also, like I said, agriculture, wheat, soybean, corn, sugar, coffee, cotton. You can invest in all these, ladies and gentlemen. These are going to rise whenever the recession kicks in. Currencies, okay. Livestock futures, you can see all of this. So you have to understand how this economy works. Now, this also leads to diversification, right? So you have to understand that. Let me see who else is in the house. Mr. Financials here. He says, good evening, SSN family. And he has the icon next to his name. Thank you so much for being here, Mr. Financial. And he has his own channel too, ladies and gentlemen, Chili Davis. That's his channel. You can go check him out. He has stock information and financial information. That's why his name is Mr. Financial. Esteban Opio, welcome to the SSN Nation Money Making Monday live stream. Thank you so much for being here with the icon next to your name as well. Hello, SSN family. Good evening. Good evening to you too. Thank you so much for being here. Victor Marrero's in the house. He has the icon next to his name. Thank you so much for being here on the SSN Nation Money Making Monday live stream. And he has his tagline ready. Hello, all. Let's do this. We're doing it and making it happen. So everybody has to understand we're into the asset classes. We're into the commodities right now. This is what they're talking about when they say commodities, interest rate futures. Oh, this is this is brilliant here. I mean, 30 year, 10 year, five year, two year. Who's going to invest in that? I don't know, but somebody is. So this is the futures and commodities all in one. So you have to understand what is going on. Everything isn't equal just because the economy goes down doesn't mean that you can't put your money somewhere else that is going up. There's always a lever. When something's going down, there's something else that's going up. And you always have an option. You don't have to go down with the ship. You don't have to jump out of windows. All right? Let's call it what it is. Just be patient and understand what you're working with. All right. I think that pretty much does it for the assets and then the alternative investments. Well, let's just call it what has been happening. Crypto, ladies and gentlemen, crypto, it is going bananas. It's going off the charts with all these DAOs coming out. There's even a metaverse one now. And I don't even know if they have anything to do with metaverse. You know, I don't even know what they're doing. But there's a metaverse DAO talking about hundreds of thousands of APY percentage. I haven't looked at it. I don't know. But what I do know is Olympus, Wonderland, Hector DAO, they seem to be leading the way. In fact, Hector DAO is not leading. They are catching these guys because of the things they are doing today they started another 4-4 stable coin frax and they have some other pairings that they started today we're going to talk about that but as you can see on the screen assets ladies and gentlemen assets once again alternative investments here goes one right now this is all unstoppable domains it is crypto your domain name is dot crypto you can get dot crypto you can get dot nft in fact i'll pull up some things here uh let's go with here i'll do founders see what comes up that's probably a premium domain yes it is okay let me go with um mine bending I guess something like that. There we go. All right. So now you can see on the screen here. Very, very easy. The pin, the X is the most expensive. So mindbending.x, mindbending.crypto, mindbending.coin.wallet.bitcoin. You guys get the idea. 
The range is $20. So 20 to 100. Buy one, get one free. Cyber Monday. I do have the link down below in the description, of course, for Unstoppable Domain. So I'd appreciate if you use the link. But let me give you some of the virtues. One-time payment. So when you buy your dot .coin or dot .wallet or dot .bitcoin, you don't pay any annual fees like a dot .com. It's one time. What else you can do is you can receive crypto. So when I say, hey, somebody says I want to send you 50 bucks in crypto, all I have to do is go, okay, ericbird.crypto. I don't have to tell them send me, you know, BTC or Ethereum or Maker or Zill or anything. All I have to do is just say, send me 100 bucks, however you want directly to me. I'm not going through a middleman. That's beautiful, right? That's the first thing. That's his major. The second thing, right now, when you buy any of these domains from Unstoppable Domains, you mint your domain on the blockchain for free. That's right. Prior to about two weeks ago, you would have had to pay the ETH fees to mint and I don't know why people did it because SSN Nation members knew that they were going to do it for free down the road. So there was no reason. So now everybody, you can buy your dot crypto name or whatever, dot coin, dot DAO, however you want to do it and mint it for free to the blockchain. That is beautiful. What else? I already mentioned no annual fees, no additional costs for life. That's the other main thing I have to keep saying this, all right? So again, those are the major reasons. But what if, what if you can make a website on your dot .crypto or dot .wallet or dot .bitcoin? There's no what if. You can, ladies and gentlemen, make your own website, which means it's on the blockchain, which means it can never be taken down from an ISP. That is even more powerful. That is an asset. It's up to you what to do with this asset. But this is simply amazing. Right now, for the next about 12 hours, I believe, buy one, get one free. 20 bucks, 40 bucks, or 100 bucks for mind bending. I don't know if they're all the similar ones uh, that aren't premium names. But all I'm saying is another asset, ladies and gentlemen. You need to get into this crypto space, and they even have it here. No gas fees, no minting fees, no renewal fees, and there's more. Just like I said, they have about 100, 110 coins. So if somebody almost has any of the top 100 denomination in crypto, they can send me money. I don't have to give them that, that address or QR code. It's a beautiful thing. The link is down below, ladies and gentlemen. All right, let's see. Make sure you have your pen pad and paper ready. Let's see what's happening. Aaron, people, jumped out window. <laughs> exactly, exactly. 1989 or 87, whenever it was Black Monday, whatever. Yeah, people were jumping out of windows. Whenever the markets go down, people jump out of windows. I don't get it. I'm just like, well, why didn't you just make another move while it's going down? You can sell, you know, I mean, geez, you can buy something else. Something's always going up when something's going down. It's not the end of the world. And you took a risk in the first place. Whenever you make investments, they are a risk. All right. So now we're going to keep going down this path because yesterday we had Prometheus on from Hector DAO. So obviously I'm bullish on that, but I'm also bullish on Wonderland and time. I'm bullish on Olympus and Ohm. I'm bullish on a few DAOs, so I can't, you know, say anything bad about them really other than it's a mathematical equation. I don't really know how it works, but so far, some of the company, the DAOs, Olympus and all these guys, they've been around for more than three months, more than four months, more than five months. So we're hoping they can hang out for a year because it could be life changing money just for people like us, the OCs, people who do not have the millions and millions of dollars at their disposal. This could turn in 
to be a gold rush, a serious gold rush where three years from now, four years from now, people are going to go, hey, these guys came out, their coins were 200 or 2,000 or 10,000. Did you get in? And then their coins could even be higher. Their rate of returns could be stabilized. And maybe you earn 50,000% a year APY. Maybe it's 1,000% APY. Either way, it beats 0.05% of the bank. It's going to, if it beats even index funds who've been very fortunate over the last 10 years, 15, 20, 30% or more returns, those are considered great. But if these DAOs are able to do 50,000, 30,000, 20,000, even 1,000, even 500,000 APY, that's still going to be better APR wise than 30%, 20%, and at a risk. So this would be awesome if this works out. And I think Hector DAO, they're doing everything right because the bond actually is what makes the APY stay at a certain level. You need more people who bond and just hold their money for X amount of days. So if somebody bonds and they're willing to hold their money for uh, eight months, that means their runway is now gonna get longer than the 186 days that they had yesterday. Now they brought up these other uh, other uh, pairings for the bond and staking, the 4-4, which now means more stable coins are coming. So you guys think that these guys aren't smart? They know the mathematical equation and how the teeter-totter works. You can't have people withdrawing money if you need people to earn a high APY. This is why banks don't allow you to walk in and go, hey, I need $50,000. They're like, ah, no, I'm sorry. Oh, wait, hold on. Come back here, sir. You're VIP. Okay, we can. We might be able to accommodate you. But other people, no, come back an another day. So think about it. Joined Heck Discord. People posted your live stream. Thank you so much, Mr. Financial. That is exactly probably why there was additional people on the live stream yesterday, which was awesome to see. What ifs if we had 200, 300, 400, 500 people on our normal streams? That would be awesome. All right. Thank you so much for mentioning that. And anybody see any of the uh, they actually made a vid, uh, an intro video for me. I posted it up in a few things in a few places. It might be on YouTube. It might be on the Telegram group. I posted up, I think, in uh, some other like Instagram. So uh, you guys might want to see that. It was only like a four or five second promo, but it's moving. I have on the Tofosi glasses. I was like, hold on. That's pretty good. I like it. Andy Ortiz. Welcome to the SSN Nation Money Making Monday live stream with the icon next to your name. Thank you so much for being here. What up? What up? What up? What's up is we talking assets. We're talking about how to create wealth for life. By the way, that title, Unstoppable Domains, even though it doesn't create anything right now for $20 or $20, you could have two dot crypto type domains for Cyber Monday, that I consider wealth for life because you have staked real estate, just like a .com name, domain name, that is staked real estate. That means you can activate it to turn it into money making anytime you want if you own a domain name. And it the crypto domain is even more powerful in my opinion because now you're almost on this edge where you can truly be your own bank. You receive the money. You decide what to do with it. You don't have to take it to a bank or put it under a mattress or do anything with it. You can transfer it to wherever you want. And you have opportunities in the metaverse. You have opportunities in crypto that is not existent right now in the banking or the financial industries. There's no way they're going to give 100. They're not, not even going to give 500. 500%. If if they everybody would be investing in a bank if the bank woke up one day and says, "Hey, you know what? We're just going to come clean. We're just going to give you five times your money every year that you put in here for lock it up. I don't care. You put a CD in here for 6 months to a year, we'll give you 500%." 
You know how many people would you run into the bank? Never mind if somebody said, hey, how about 200,000%? I mean, it would be incredible. But see, you guys have to understand. You know what the deal is. They don't want OCs popping up to be the one percenters. The only difference, OCs, the one percent have access to millions of dollars. Why most OCs are saddled by student loans, 200K. Curtis Davis, exactly right. And that's why you have to get these assets that I'm considering. You have to have unstoppable domain or something similar. There's another company that has these dot cryptos, but I don't know if they have the buy one, get one free today. But down below is the link so you can go over and get yours. And now you can have two domains for the price of one that can never be taken from you. No annual fees. And you can run websites on it and video. And blockchains are just going to get bigger and better, ladies and gentlemen. We're on the forefront. All right, Eric, just want to congratulate you for yesterday's show. We all learned a lot. That call really puts you on the crypto map. Congrats. Thank you so much, Victor Marrero. I appreciate that compliment. Thank you. Uh, I, I really appreciate it. Yes, it appeared that there was a large amount of people. So now the crypto world is checking some things out here at SSN Nation. But now I have to up my crypto game, right? <laughs> That's all that means. <laughs> so, uh, but I appreciate it. And Dream Miller's in the house. Welcome to the SSN Nation Money Making Monday live stream. And she has the icon next to her name and she has her tagline. Hi, Eric and SSN family. And I have to say, whenever I see her, I have to mention SSN University, SSN Academy. And that's always the no guru zone, ladies and gentlemen. You've heard of academies. You've heard of universities. Normally, that's associated with a little money. Well, right here in the SSN Nation, we don't charge for any of the information. We don't charge. All you have to do is ask questions. We have no problems trying to help everybody because it's rough out here, ladies and gentlemen. Top 10%, top 1% own the bulk of the wealth in the United States and around the world. It's not just United States only. It's around the world like this. We have 7.6 billion people on the planet, and you're going to tell me, oh, yeah, okay. So only about 770 to 170 million people out of the 7.6 billion people hold 50% of the assets? That is crazy. Crazy. So how do they hold you down? Because you're in the financial system, because that's why they don't want to teach you anything at school. Imagine you go to high school or middle school, and by the time you're eight years old, they start running down to you going, hey, you know what? You need to go buy some stocks. These companies, you might need to research and find out how to, you know, do your own research and how to invest when you're eight, nine, 10, 11 years old. Maybe you might want to learn about how to buy real estate when you're eight, nine, 10 years old. So by the time you're 18, 19, 20, you wouldn't have to go work for somebody else. You'd be sitting out here trying to make investment deals. And you would be able to make investment deals. You know why? Because if you were doing it from the time you were eight, nine years old, your friends, who might be two or three years older than you, your parents would be more susceptible to teach you these things because they would have to learn with you. And then when you come out 18, 19, 20 years old, guess what happens? Some of your friends already made some deals. They have a little bit of money and they're sitting there saying, hey, man, you want to invest in this project over here, over there? They will help you out. But once you have a separation where they don't want to teach you any financials, at all in high schools, hell, in college either, they need you to work for these other top 10 percenters who control 50% of the wealth. Where do you think they're going to get workers from? If everybody understands the financial systems and how to get assets and how they can leverage assets and that they don't really maybe not need credit, you follow what I'm saying? So those are the reasons that we have to talk. All right, Speedo Ninja, welcome to the SSN Nation Money Making Monday live stream. Thank you so much for being here. Have you heard about Vu Launch from the YouTuber MM Crypto? Haven't launched yet, but think it's going to be huge. Speedo Crypto. No, I have not checked into that. Never heard of it yet, but there are so many projects. And as an investor, you have to be very careful. It's tempting 
to get into all the new projects because let's face it, there's a lot of projects that you put in a hundred bucks. Next thing you know, it could be worth 10,000. Uh, but you never know the sustainability and how long it's going to last. So you kind of have to do your own due diligence. And then by the time you do that, just like what happened with Hector, Joshua Felder said, Hey, check out this Hector. We check out Hector and it was $27 a coin. So as I'm checking it out the next day, it goes to like $50. Next day after that, it's, it's like $60. I drop a video the fourth day that he created, and it's like it's $75. The video comes out. The very next day, it's $90. And then the very next day after that, it was like $157. It was crazy. Just like that. So you just never know what's going to happen. As an investor, there's so many crypto platforms that have failed. It's not, you just can't willy nilly just go in. And who's to say Hector, Wonderland, Olympus, Klima, and all them guys could fail, but Mark Cuban's behind Klima. So the odds are there's going to be some sort of backing or backstop. But nonetheless, uh, no, I haven't heard about any of those. Wilson Koo, welcome to the SSN Nation Money Making Monday live stream. Good evening, Mr. Bird and SSN family is his tagline, ladies and gentlemen, 100% facts. And he says, I sell money. Yes, because he does funding. Some of you are sitting here right now. This is a business channel. This is a investment channel. This is an entrepreneur channel. He can help you with funding all different ways. Even if you live outside of the country, he can help you with funding. And speaking of outside of the country helping you fund, let me see if I have tribal credit down below to help people out here. Yes, tribal credit. If you have a business, no credit check, no personal credit, international business, check out tribal credit. They only go to certain countries, but see if you qualify something. I think Mexico is one of them, some parts of Latin America, capital on tap business, but that's what Mr. Ku does. He does funding. And the thing is, he can do revenue-based, asset-based, multifamily, commercial properties, single families. He does it all. And there are programs for foreigners as well. He does it all. So if you need some help with that, you know what to do. Send me an email at support at Stop Struggling Now or Eric at Stop Struggling Now, and I'll get you in touch with him. Or let's just call it what it is, quickeasyfunds.com, Q U I K. E as in Eric, Z as in zebra, funds.com. All right. That makes it nice and simple for you. Thanks for the interview yesterday. Thank you so much, Andreen Miller. I appreciate you saying that. I was so happy that Prometheus came on and uh, he seemed to a answer most questions. And uh, we got as far as we could because he was on that hour and 20. I think we would have done our normal three hours with him, but we couldn't do it. And um, so let I appreciate that comment. Still working, but listening. All right, right on, Wilson Koo. Yes, SSNM Academy, no fee standard, no 100K barriers. Exactly. We have solutions here. Evening at Silverman F, Victor M, Curtis D, Andy O, Diesel M, Edmund, Andreen. Thank you so much for that. The love is in the house. Once again, if you're part public school system, in some cases, part of problem. Fake education, big bag of air. Exactly what it is. You guys, know, oh man, I, I can't, I, I just now getting out of the doghouse. I probably shouldn't be saying things like this, but it just uh, irritates me. History books are written by certain people and people believe the history books that they're reading and they don't do their own due diligence and research and find out the books are fake. All right. That's basically what they are. They have changed names. They have changed who the people were and everything. It's incredible. A lot of times, I'm not talking about 100%, but the, this stuff is crazy, all right? Once you start checking things out, you come out of the matrix and you're just like, what the heck is going on here? <laughs> These guys are showing people on TV and in pictures. Oh, pictures. I'm sorry, anybody that does the Bible, I I'm sorry. You do realize that picture of Jesus, the white guy, is was made like, 400 years ago or 500 years ago, you know, that's not really the picture of Jesus, right? I'm, I'm just saying, all right. I, I, I just, that's another book. I mean, come on. All right. Uh, Andrew Miller, 
I want to know how to get involved in this new mining stuff you were talking about. Andrea Miller, I think the easiest thing to do is go check out some videos. But since you have mentioned it, I do have Hector DAO because I'm highly bullish on them right now. So I'm going to bring up their stuff. All right. So we'll go to the screen and I'll go to Hector DAO and talk about that. All right. Because this will be the easiest kind of thing. Just to, I'll give you a general overview of what we're talking about. Now, there's a couple of things. There's something called strong block. And with strong block, what you do is it's a coin. Strong is a coin. And when I pull this up, let me, in fact, I, sh I shouldn't have done that. Um, here's what I'm going to do first since I'm talking about strong block. What I'll do is this. I'll go to strong strong coin price right now let's go see what it is okay so it's 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 not really mining which is the beauty of it all right so that is what's so cool no mining equipment to be bought that is cool this is why i'm getting into it here's strong which is strong block so it's 573 if you buy 10 coins 10 strongs means $5,732, let's call it. In crypto, that means you might have to spend 61, 6300 because of the fees. So when you buy the strong, there's going to be a fees. And when you send it over uh, to get it exchanged into strong, there's going to be a fee. So let's just call it 6100, 6200 bucks. And you could get your 10 nodes. Then after you have your 10 nodes in your MetaMask, strongblock.com, go over here and you create your node. And of course, you connect it to your MetaMask. They can verify you have your 10 nodes. Then you pay $14.95 per month. Now, this bypasses having to buy these crypto mining machines and you receive one-tenth the value of the coin. So tomorrow, we're getting probably around $56. Every day, you receive one-tenth of the coin price. If you Let's just round down. $50 times 30 days, $1,500 passive income per month. As long as they pay out, this is creating wealth because you have passive income coming in from the strong block node and you don't have to do anything else. You don't need any computers. You don't need any mining equipment. Those days are over. You just need to invest and buy the 10 coins. OK, and then come over here and create your node. That is it. That's the beauty of it. Very, very simple for that. OK, now I'm going to go to well, I'm going to go to Hector DAO, quite frankly, because they're doing something that nobody else is doing. So we I'm just going to keep bringing it up because this just came out this four four. These guys aren't even a month old. I don't think that's the weird part. The Olympus and the Wonderland, they're older, but they didn't even come up with this. And I don't understand why not, because it's a mathematical equation and they know the more people bond. They can keep their APYs up there. The, it keeps the balancing act. You need people to do staking too, but, but bonding's important. And that's what I like about Hector. They just went straight put. Bonding's so important. We got to come up with something to make sure people keep their money over here. And they did it. So this is what I like. Now, look, yesterday we were on this bonding page. All right. And by the way, um, there's links down below for the Hector group, I'm pretty sure. Let me see if I put anything out down here. I'm going to have to add it for their Discord group and all that. It'll, I'll have to add it later. But here's the uh, bonds. Yesterday, all they had was USDC, DAI, and MIM. These three right here. Today, I wake up, and all of a sudden, I see these other ones. And look, earlier today, this was 43,000, the first one. 
When I made my video about how to buy Hector, you can see in the video, I believe this was 43,000. This was a hundred and some thousand. So people are bonding these, this contract here, the heck to USDC. And this is, again, again, no mining equipment needed because we're getting 13.3% every four days on the bonding price. So that is pretty serious. And you're still getting the rebase every day because rebases are eight hours a day, uh, three eight hours, um, three times a day. And look at this. This heck USDC pairing gives you S heck. So once you have S heck, it automatically rebases. So you don't have to do anything. This is set it and forget it. And it's bonded. So the this is incredible. And USDC and heck, that's an interesting pairing because USDC you can get relatively easily. HEC, you have to swap on spooky swap, spirit swap, whoever, spooky swap, you have to swap it. Um FTM to HEC. So this is very, very interesting that that's a pair. Then they have HEC die as a liquidity pool. So these are liquidity pools. Look at this, 195. This is kept, these are these are moving because these rates here, 13% every four days, and I'm getting S heck in return, which is going to be rebased. That is like incredible returns every four days. Now, who knows if they can keep this up, but I guarantee you they're going to be able to keep this up if they keep getting $100,000 every day into these. Well, actually, today's the day, $200,000 a day when they just introduced HEC die, HEC to USD liquidity pool, and this FRAX, something I never even heard of, a stable coin somehow. They're bonding, and this has more than these, 258, and the ROI is less, but yet people are still bonding this one more. Incredible. This is how you keep your APYs. Treasury balance, 64 million and rising. The heck coin is pretty much stabilized around two. It went up to 250, I think 260. Now it's been hovering around 200, even dropped below, came back up. I don't mind the coin price doing a little volatility. I like what the company Hector Dow is doing with their bonding because that is a long-term play. You have to understand, ladies and gentlemen, long-term. Here's the other ones. The first bonding, look at this. They also started the heck pair. Look at here, 11 million, ladies and gentlemen. What the heck is going on? Where's all this money coming from? Somebody's putting money into these. Five million into the USDC. They're not even doing the 4-4. This is incredible. These just came out today. This is incredible. Frax has 199,000. This is incredible. This is This is what I'm talking about. When these guys are able to get their coin moving and easy to buy, like Wonderland time, like uh, Klima's even relatively easy, and, and so is, of course, Olympus. When they get that three or four step process down where you don't have to swap and bridge and do all that, these guys are going to blow up. They really are going to blow up. I just can't see any other way. Let me know what you guys think about this, because this is incredible. Let me know what you guys think, because that right there is the backbone of how these companies will operate. It's mathematical. If you know you have, well, I should have just looked at it. If you know you have $30 million bonded, that is very significant if you have $64 million total in the treasury. Now you can keep paying those high APYs because what's coming next? Hector Bank. Hector Bank means I can lend against these assets and earn some more interest, just like a bank. 
<laughs> and I'm going to share it with us. That is beautiful. So, Andrew Miller, I went along the along about way, but you don't need to do mining anymore. You could put your money into Hector or Olympus or whichever one you choose. It doesn't matter. Wonderland time. It doesn't really matter. Now, let's go look and see the runway improved by two days since yesterday because of roughly it looks to be about $20 million of liquid just got introduced into the system. That's six months, ladies and gentlemen. Six months. All right. Six months. That is a long time. Very, very long time. Let me get back to uh, dashboard here. This is where I was going with this down here. I was I didn't realize I wasn't on the screen. Here we are. One hundred eighty eight days. That's six months, eight days. They've already been here one month. That means if they're able to do this, that's seven months. Get a calculator, ladies and gentlemen. In fact, I think I posted up a calculator under one of the videos. I don't think it was this one. I might have to. I'm going to put down a, a. Yeah, I'm going to have to put that in here, too. So the Google Docs. Um, I'm going to see if I can do this on the fly, but the the, the Docs. As long as you copy, you'll be able to use the calculator. All right. So just keep that in mind. We'll uh, I'll have the calculator underneath the description after the video because there's no way for me to include it. Well, maybe it is. I'll include it while we're doing this. That's what we do here. Multitask. All right. I'll figure it out and I'll add the calculator before in the next uh, 10 or 15 minutes. In fact. I'm going to do something now where I'm going to run a video. Oh, by the way, let me know if you guys received a notification from YouTube tonight. And let me know if you saw the trailer tonight. That would be very helpful. All right. So, yeah, it looks like I'm. Oh, wait. No, that's not going to help me. All right. I'm going to run a little video. I don't know which one I'm going to run right now, though. I'm going to figure it out. So let me know what you guys think. I'm going to actually go to here. Vanessa Comagate. Hey, Calypso, Crypto King, and SSN fam. I'm late checking in. <laughs> Calypso Crypto. Hello, Vanessa Comagate. Welcome to the SSN Nation Money Making Mondays live stream with the icon next to your name. Thank you so much for being here. And I love the Calypso Crypto King. That's beautiful right there. Thank you so much. All right. Okay. Oh, this is funny. How do I get heck? Andrew Miller, you're going to have to uh, join the Hector group. I dropped a video today, how you can buy Hector. I dropped a video last week, how you can buy Hector, but you can't do it like last week. But today you can send USDT over to gate io so gate io i have a link down below not in this video actually in the video i dropped earlier today but gate io is an exchange so you need usdt at gate io then you need to swap usdt not swap exchange ftm usdt is a pair you exchange then you go to withdraw and you withdraw to the phantom network Check out the video that I dropped earlier today. That's the only way you can invest in HEC. You can't buy HEC, like go to Coinbase and buy HEC. You can't do that. So that's all I can tell you. It's a little more complicated, but they have a Discord group. So you can actually go uh, do that. Hold on a second. I might be able to. Where's our live stream we did last night? Um, so I'm going to throw something in the chat maybe. I'll be able to do that and help you out, I think. Sooner or later, I'm going to get to this. So it kind of bugs me. I can't get there real fast. But it's all right. I'm going to get some more information for you. Mr. Evans, welcome to the SSN Nation Money Making Monday live stream. Thank you so much for being here with the icon next to your name. Thank you for your support. And he says, good evening, everyone. Well, good evening to you, too. Thank you so much for your support and being here as well. Speedo Ninja, I want to invest again in Punakana. Wilson Khomeini, 
Wilson Khomeini again, Speedo Ninja. You want to do a second investment in real estate? I love it. I'm happy to hear that. What do you have in mind? There's not that many projects anymore. That's the funny part. They used to pop up left, right, left, right. But I have a feeling they got inundated because all the villas and all the apartments and all the condos that are up for sale. There's only so many people that could buy these things time and time again. And they're still building some more. It's incredible. What do you have in mind this time? Are you going to get a villa? You're going to get a condo. Is it going to be in Puna Cana? And what section in Puna Cana? So Wilson Koo, <laughs> the Koo man, Koo man can't help you unless you're going to buy a condo that's already made. Otherwise, you do the pre-construction route, no credit check, no qualifying, as you know. So that's the way to go. All right. One million funding could be 10 banks or credit unions giving a person 100K each. Exactly. That's exactly right. The banks that 10 to 1 money, crazy. And then they leverage it. Joshua Felder, heck, is on another level. Even a blind person can see that. <laughs> exactly. That's what I'm saying. I'm so bullish on heck. It's driving me crazy. I just want in and I can't just get in. Well, I can get in now because gate.io, I can get on the Phantom Network just with the simple USDT to FTM exchange. But I'm pretty sure that liquidity is going to dry up real fast because I dropped a video earlier and apparently somebody else dropped a video as well. Uh, so that's going to be very, very interesting. All right, Wilson Koo, the guy to talk to. Sorry for the misspelling and last comment. No worries. We understand what you're talking about. Public air education. I like that. Exactly, Joshua Felder. Exactly right. Don't get me started with Kenny G. Jesus from your, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 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 Oh, it's incredible. Don't let me get banned some more, right? I'm just now getting out of the doghouse. So I get that. And then this comes up. You know, I'm like, geez, what's all? Let's get this crypto NFT. Well, NFT incoming. They're coming up next, ladies and gentlemen. We got to talk about NFTs. That's right. Joshua Felder at Vanessa Comagate. Exactly. Uh, can I get an amen? <laughs> That's right. Oh, my. Having a little fun tonight. Vanessa Comagate. I had to unlearn to relearn to figure out who I am. That stuff gets deep. Hey, man, it's all psychological warfare. You guys don't understand. Men wrote books. I'm just going to put this plain and simple. If I write a book and people are supposed to follow the book, do you really think I'm going to put myself at the bottom of the pecking order? I'm going to tell you and everybody else, you have to do this. You have to obey this. You got to do this and you got to follow my lead. I'm not going to sit in here and say, hey, you know what? These guys are better than me, and these guys are better than me. Hell no. That's why it's very interesting. Men write books based on they're not going to lose. <laughs> That's generally what it is. It cracks me up. And then people go, oh, yeah, this is the truth. Yeah, well, does anybody? Oh, my. I, I, I can't even get into it, man. That's a whole nother channel. Whole nother channel. Does anybody know what Darwin was really trying to prove? Come on. What's America based on? Where's Darwin at? Where? Oh, hold, hold on. Hold on. I'm going to do this. I, I don't care. I'm going to be banned again. Let me do some things here. Let me do some things. This is hilarious. Let me, let me do some things here. I'm going to do some. This is, a, this is insanity. This is insanity, ladies and gentlemen. This is why your brain is like all screwed up. And this is why your financials and how they can manipulate you is so simple. Because you believe in things and it doesn't even make sense. Zero sense. Look at this. All right. Where's this? Where's his info at? Where's this guy at? Oh, where's his info at? Okay, let me go here. Here we go. I know what he was studying. But here's the funny part. Anybody notice Charles Darwin lived from 1809 to 1882? I mean, I mean, you do realize that's 1800 years AD. Never mind the thousand years BC. 
All of a sudden, in 1809 to 1882, this cat, he does what he needs to do and writes books and science and all that and tells everybody, oh, man came from apes <laughs> 200 years ago. Come on, man. You guys got to stop playing with me like this. Oh, my God. Seriously? His he was not trying to figure out anything. He basically is a European who's sitting there trying to figure out how he can make their white people look like they're better than everybody else. You guys stop playing. 200 years ago, you expect to believe this, this clown? Come on now. This isn't science. Come on, do your study and do your due diligence, ladies and gentlemen. Stop playing. All right. Stop playing out here. This is how they have you all wrapped up just like that because you believe, oh, I'm better than this person because some dude that showed up 200 years ago and wrote it down and made it seem like it was some sort of scientific thing when he was actually trying to prove that Europeans were better than everybody. That's it. White Europeans, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. Stop playing. Stop playing. I, I can go deeper than this, but I won't. Now I'll be banned a little more. I'll be shadow banned, but I don't care because the truth is the truth. Go do your due diligence. You do your due diligence on finance. You do your due diligence when you're buying a house. You do your due diligence when you're buying clothes, for Christ's sakes, when you're getting computers, when you're getting cars. But you don't even vet the information that somebody gives you in a book from somebody who just made up crap from 200 years ago. Never mind what people wrote a thousand years ago. You don't even check that out. You don't even bother. You're just like, oh, yeah, okay, this cat wrote it. I'm just like, come on, man. Do you even check? Okay, let me go one more. Can I get an amen? <laughs> Let's go one more. Let's go one more. Oh, man. Who is a? Oh, my God. Ah, uh, here we go. This one's going to erupt the room here. Let's see. Let's go here. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, <laughs> here we go. Can I get an amen? Can I get an amen? Look, come on, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Despite never leaving Chicago. <laughs> Oh, my God. Okay, influence how many Christians the world over, for better or worse, picture of Jesus. Okay, Warner Salmon. Again, again, this is not from 2,000 years ago. This was created so you have a population to believe that the dude's a white dude. Here we go. Here's the name, Caesar Borgia. Okay, this right here is fake Jesus, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Oh, my God. I'm going to start yelling and screaming. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, enough of this. Enough of this manipulation by the federal government, by a certain group of the population trying to make it seem like they're better than everybody else when, in fact, they're not. Okay, can I get an amen with the pyramids? Amens? The tombs? Any of that ring a bell? How the hell? Come on. Stop playing. All right, that's enough. Let's get back into this. I, I, I start getting a little heated because people believe a whole bunch of nonsense and they don't even go check out the information. And they believe it. And then that belief turns into you doing some stupid stuff based on some stupid prizes that you believe exist when they don't, all right? So there you have it. Let's get back to the financials, ladies and gentlemen, all right? So that'll probably get me shadow banned some more, but it's all right. You guys got to understand. You got to start checking things out, all right? Check things out. Everything that you see is not true. So you need to take care of yourself. Nobody's coming to save you, all right? Regardless of who you are, nobody's coming to save you. It doesn't matter. They got you believing some people are going to be saved, but you're not. Just being used as a tool. That's it. Okay, let's go. Use your money to make more money, okay? That will solve most people's problems because then you can do what you want, live where you want, and be happy. That is the goal here, 
right? Be happy on planet Earth. Be good to mankind. Help the planet. Do all this stuff that you can leave to your grandkids, great grandkids, great, great, great grandkids. If you're not trying to leave the world a better place, then you're part of the freaking problem. All right. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Let me get it back into this. I'm sorry. I, I, I just had to go off on this, ladies and gentlemen. You got an amen. I hope. Unlearning exactly. Speedo in. We will need some info. Please send me an email. Wilson Koo. Exactly, Speedo. Um, whatever you want to buy, you got to send an email. Support at Stop Struggling Now or go to his quickeasyfunds.com. All right. Curtis Davis. Straight up, fam. Exactly. Vanessa Comagate. Way too many lies. Exactly. You got that right. Facts, Eric. Heck, we'll have Solana moment soon. You got that right. It's going to be Solana moment. In fact, like I kept telling him last night, I said, as soon as they do the three-step process and four-step process, it's a wrap. They have everything in place to be the best, to surpass Wonderland time and Olympus and everything, in my opinion. Because they have apparently, I don't really know what they're doing, but if it can work for six months, that in itself means congratulations, everybody who put money into this project. We are going to be winners. I don't really care if the amount is $150. You're going to be a winner. If this thing can last nine months, we're already at seven. So whoever invested early, like Joshua Felder, when it was $27, $50 a coin, he got in. Um, we couldn't move fast enough because at the time when he did the video, it was so hard. You had to bridge, swap, bridge, do this, do that. I mean, it was like complicated. So while we're scrambling around, the price was increasing. It was incredible. Evening, Joshua F., Vanessa K., Wilson Koo, what's going on, fam? I opened a Hector USDC bond yesterday, and the hyper staking is accumulation overdrive. It's crazy. Got two more days for the bond to vest. Plan to turn around and open another one. Exactly, Victor Marrero. It seems like I, I, I haven't bonded yet. So I think every four days, do you have to rebond? Is that what's going to happen? Or the fifth day do you rebond? I don't know how that's going to work. But either way, you want to be on top of it because as soon as it expires, you want to keep buying. And the other question, which I can't remember what the answer was, if we even got to it, people were thinking, can you bond uh, more than one at the same time? Because if that's the case, you can keep rolling them over or at the same time, stack them four days, four days, four days, earning double. Hey, you know how I start thinking about it. it's mathematical equations. So it all depends on what we can do. So I got to get into the bonding game because if all of a sudden they're going to tell me I can exponentially stack it somehow where I'm earning 13%, 13%, 13%. I kind of like that. It's almost like the strong block situation. That would be beautiful. All right, Wilson Koo. Hey, fam, send me the email reminder for Wednesday. Thanks. Exactly. We live in the digital economy, the best of Web 3.0 coming. AI, cloud, digital assets, automated process. You got that right, Mr. Financial. It's going down. Wilson Koo, where can you send? Where you send you? Okay. Um, send me an email, Speed of Ninja, and then I forward your email to Wilson Koo. Or you go to, here, I'll put it in the chat room. Go to quickeasyfunds.com. You can go there and uh, send them a message as well. All right. So hopefully that helps you out. Victor Marrero. Wow. Congrats. Exactly. Marrero's earning that compound interest all over the place. Well done. Well done. He's got some of those assets we talked about. Create wealth for life. Real, real estate, rental, strongs. And now he's making this crypto money uh, all over the place. He's diversified in all the some of the DAOs as well. He's doing it all right. He's in the stocks, another asset, and uh, alternative investments. I mean, he's in the index funds also, which are almost pretty stable, 20%, 30%, 15%. You gotta, that's what we gotta learn here, ladies and gentlemen. No, I got your email. Beautiful. He's got the, she's got it. 
Victor Morrell. So are you doing all four, four bonds? I'm doing all four, four. I haven't bonded yet. I'll tell you guys when I bond, I'll probably do something over in the next day or two. Boss, I might have some properties for your guy in LA. All right. Well, are they vetted? Are we talking about six, uh, 50 to what was that? 50 to 70% um, market value. In other words, they're 10 million. That's what they got to be. The property's got to appraise at about 10 million, let's say. Or well, it doesn't really matter what the number is, but it's 50 to 70% is what he's buying it for. But the appraisal, 20 million, well, that's 10 to 14 million. 5 million, what is that? Um, 2.5 to uh, 3, 3.5. Uh, that's what he has to buy it for. So, yeah. Uh, long as you have the numbers, let us know. LA County debates 1,000 a month, UBI giving 1,000 residents this money. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's hilarious. How many people live in LA? What, 3 million? 3.5? I don't know. That's hilarious. <laughs> and never mind about SoCal altogether. That's hilarious. 1,000 a, a residents. That's a joke. Joshua Felder, I had stake before. That is still running. Then I opened the USDC bond for four, which is also stake, but running separately from the regular staking I had. Accumulation on... Oh, oh yes, Victor Marrero. Very well done. Very well done. I see what he's doing. I like it. Right. They're different pairs. So you'd be able to... You'd be able to... Uh, get bonding on several at the same time. I love it. And you're getting the rebases as well. I love this. On steroids is an understatement. On steroids is going to be an understatement. Hold on a second. Look at this. What? Go look at this. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Each pairing, actually. Oh, things are going to get crazy. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I haven't dropped a video yet about this, but let's just say for the sake of argument, we'll go into fantasy land here. What if you can use wrap tokens your wrap token and you can change it into a loan what you get back for the loan is mem you get mem magic internet money and then you bring that borrowed money out of thin air other people's money and you come right over here and put it in mem and earn 13% while the loan you owe no money on. How about that? Oh, by the way, that's doable. It's not a hypothetical. Um, that is incredible. So now we stack it. 13, 13, 13. I think the mathematically this could work, Victor Marrero. So every four days, you could you could do this three times. That's roughly 30, 40 percent. If it's the equal amount of money, that could be 40 percent plus rebasing all four days and getting S heck out. Huh. I think we have something here. I think we might have stumbled upon something thanks to Victor Marrero because you can actually do this multi bonding and you can up your interest rate based on the number. So I, I'm pretty sure I haven't done the mathematics, yet, but let me know what you guys think. I think that's it. Victor Marrero. That's it. That is it. I think so.
Joshua Eric on another level. <laughs> Thanks. You're killing me softly, boss. I understand climates and regions well. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Amen. James Way is in the house. Welcome to the SSN Nation Money Making Monday live stream with the icon. Thank you so much for being in the house. He says, Amen. Thank you so much for being here. I appreciate it. You are correct, says Andrean Miller. Brian P., welcome to the SSN Nation Money Making Monday live stream. Thank you so much for being here in the house. Once again, he says that's right. He agrees. All right. I am a true believer in Jesus Christ, and we know that the pictures are not a true representation of Jesus. Hey, Andrean Miller, you may know that, but you walk around in the United States and around the world and ask them, who's this? And you know what the answer is going to be. <laughs> I'm just saying, Andrew Miller, facts, Yeshua is Lord. There you go. Hey, I'm just going to say one other thing about this. In all seriousness, you guys do really need to check things out. The Vatican, which is, uh, you know, uh, particular persuasion, uh, they actually have an original picture of Jesus. Funny thing. They don't display it. It's in the vault. Do your do real do your own research. Come on, come on, guys. Do your own research. You're asking yourself, why do these true believers have to hide who people are that they claim they believe in? Anybody asking questions? Come on, really, sir. <laughs> I think I missed somebody, though, up here. Hold on. I think I did. I missed something. Uh, let's see. Oh, no, I didn't. It's too late. All right. If I missed your comment, I'm sorry about that. I went off into my rants and uh, started losing my mind because of all this misinformation and stolen history. It's just crazy. 4-4 four, four is amazing, Eric. Imagine dividing your heck in all four bonds. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I got to go look at mathematics because I don't know if it actually works. I don't actually it might. I, I'm trying to think if you put, let's say you put a thousand dollars at 13 percent. Uh in theory, that would be 130. If I put 300 across the 36, yeah, I, I don't, I don't. Oh, wait, no, there's going to be a difference. I break it up to 333 across all three. No, we're going to earn the same, I think. I don't think it mathematically matters. It didn't let me open a second bond, so I'm assuming to have to wait for the first one to vest. However, if you had staked prior, then that continues to increase separately. Okay, so you cannot open a second bond. All right, so... That's good to know. So I so no matter, I can't work on that mathematical equation. Yes, he will send them over to me tomorrow. He understands the qualifications. All right. That is good news. I noticed that once you open a bond, it won't let you do new regular staking. Oh. However, if you had something on regular staking before, that continues to run. Oh, this is good information to know. So let's see. We already have SHEC. But uh, but when you state when you do the if you're doing the four four, they actually put S heck into your account, though. But what you're saying is it blocks you from staking more into the S heck. Interesting. I don't know why that would be. But oh, well, uh, bonding staking seems to work fine for me. I mean, it's the same thing. I, I like it better. I'll let you know in two days what happens to that four four bond. It appears that the four four hyper staking will be added to the regular staking. I had. So we'll see. Yes. Let me know on Wednesday because I was still unclear even after Prometheus said it because he was talking like weird. I was like trying to get an understanding if that 9.3 plus the 13 or is it just 2.5 percent or whatever. That's what I wanted to know. Uh, driven fortitude. Welcome to the SSN Nation Money making Monday live stream, and now an icon next to your name. Thank you so much for the support as well. And she has a tagline Good evening, SSN family. Good evening to you too. Very happy to see you here once again. Lance Bentley, welcome 
to the SSN Nation Money Making Monday live stream. Just found this and damn, it's incredibly mind blowing. Glad I found it, Lance Bentley. I'm very happy that you found this as well because this is what we do here in the SSN Nation, SSN Academy. We don't have courses. This is the no guru zone. We just tell it like it is and try to get the OCs, which is us, ordinary citizens, to be a rising tide financially because that means we can lift all boats. So hopefully I'm glad you're here and learning a little bit of something. And therefore, this is a win-win for everybody. 100% facts from Mr. Evans. Thank you so much. Vanessa K, send you email invite. Beautiful. Mike F., do you know anything about the I trust IRA? No, I do not. If so, can I trade and stake heck with it or bond? Mike, if somebody else asked about this, I trust IRA, if you can stake and bond. I have no idea, quite frankly. I have no idea. There may be somebody here that does know about that because this came up before. And uh, I don't know the answer to that. Wilson Koo, got it, sir. Thanks. Will Craw, 88. I'm still confused. Will Craw, no worries. Just ask the question on what you're confused about. and We'll try to help it out again today. We'll find out. Maybe we can help. Just ask. Driven Fortitude. Hey, lady. A3 Saval. He says, hello, all. Thank you so much for being here in the SSN Nation Money Making Monday live stream. Thank you so much for being in the house once again. I appreciate it. Hit the likes. Oh, yes. One hour, 26 minutes in. My, my. Where did the time go? One hour, 26 minutes in. Smash the like button, ladies and gentlemen. It's free to do so. All right. I just staked mine. Not sure about bonding, wrapping, etc. Will Craw 88, you've done the first thing brilliantly. As long as you got staked, wherever it was, whether it's Hector, Olympus, or whoever, you're good. We can always expand upon the rest later. Now, as far as wrapping goes, it's you can always wrap it, but don't think of wrapping as anything. Just think of wrapping just like, like this. You just bought, let's just say you have uh, one S heck, right? And you know you have a rebase three times a day every eight hours. So we're just starting with this one S heck. So when you wrap it, you still only have wrapped it one time, and now it's just one. The every eight hours, it's happening behind the scenes, all right, because you wrapped it up. Nobody can see inside. So it's just behind the scenes. Every eight hours, it's accumulating more and more inside the wrapping. Now, if you don't have it wrapped, you're on Hector DAO or Olympus or Time, whatever, you will see rebase seven hours and 20 minutes rebase one hour and 15 minutes because it's going to come and when they rebase you see it because it's not wrapped and so you'll get that added like in hector case you'll get that added s heck added to whatever you have in uh, i mean the rebase the reward is going to be added into your s heck all right so that's all the difference. The wrapping has nothing to do with anything in reality other than when you wrap it, it just puts it all in one ball and you cannot see the rebase every eight hours, but it's happening. You're not losing the rebase. That's the wrapping part. Now, the bonding part, that's a separate issue altogether because Victor Morero just said it apparently at Hector DAO, once you bond, you can't add any more to the stake. OK, now bonding is only four days, for instance. So what it is, is you're signing your bonding means you're signing a contract saying you're going to leave this money in there for four days. Just like if you went down to the bank and got a CD and you get a six month CD, let's say that means you're leaving that money in the bank for six months. Same thing. You're leaving it here for four, four days. After four days, you have a choice to bond again or not. So that's the difference. And bonding has different rates because it's much more valuable. So they might give you 10, 12, like in this case, 13% for the four days. And you're still earning rebase because they're giving you S heck. So those four days, since they're giving you S heck each day, those there's a 
every eight hour, it's accumulating the rebase. So that's why you're getting rebase every day. And that's why it's an added percentage. And that's why making the 4-4 bonding is awesome. The regular bond is a whole nother issue. It's by itself. You're just bonding for four days. Then they give you some S heck. That's it. You're not going to earn any of the rebases. So that's the difference. Hopefully you understand what I'm saying. It's basically purchase discount plus regular staking included. That's what the 4-4 is. The bonding 4-4 and there's a bond 1-1. Exactly. Evening Driven F, I just sent you an email right on. Hi, okay, I will check my email. Exactly. Hi, Vanessa. Wilson, coup, coup, man. IRS considers Dow rebases as taxable income. Once you have control of the rebase, that's when it becomes taxable income. We can argue the definition of once you have control. This is key. Exactly, Victor Marrero. That's what I'm saying. I, exactly. Because this is going to get wild if, if this is going to hold up. I'm like, what are we talking about? Because on the stock market, I'm sitting here thinking, what are dividends if if rewards or rebases is not going to be considered like a dividend? It's kind of crazy. But anyhow, we'll see what happens because you do not have control of it. And I think this is going to ultimately have to go to a court of law because I, I just can't see how they're going to make this stick. But of course, they're going to be trying to rob you know who. Rob the poor to pay the rich. And this is the kind of things they do. They shouldn't even be dabbling in this period. It should have been just like what's been happening. You take your money out. What you put in, you put in X amount. You made profit. Pay us our tax. But they're getting a whole nother level going. They're going, hold on a second. We're just going to try and take it directly from them, which is bothersome, actually. Because the next thing you're going to know, they're going to start trying to make all these DAOs uh, be part of the government. and then they can come in and snatch your stuff. That's what I'm worried about. But anyhow, we're going to beat them to the punch because remember, government moves slow. <laughs> so we're going to have our 9, 10, 12 months, all right, before this is going to come down. Your bond is automatically staking so the system won't let you double dip. Makes sense. Yeah, it makes sense. It makes sense. Um, I, I don't mind. Okay, I get the wrapping now. Now with bonding, are we bonding heck or die? I guess there's that's where I'm confused. Okay, Will Craw, here you go. Um, you can bond any of these. So that is the beauty. So you can bond heck USDC. And what that means is here, I'll show you. Let's see if it comes up. I think, I, okay, it does come up. Here's what this means. So I'm going to use USDC. That's what I'm going to use to buy the bond. And then, then they're going to. So that is it. You don't have to. It already tells you what you're going to receive at the end of the four days. OK, four days, you're going to get eight point four, six, three percent. And you're going to get the rebases because remember, day one, you're earning interest. And you're earning a portion of the S HEC. The S HEC has an every eight hour rebase. So any, even if the S HEC is 0. 0.0001, you still get a rebase reward. So therefore, that's why they say 9.32% included. All right. So that's how simple it is. It's not that uh, too much complicated, but these are all your choices. So you can just do die if you want. All right. You can do USDC by itself if you want. You can do this now frax if you want. So you can just do these solely by themselves. I don't know what they give you. I guess it's still S heck. And I forgot that uh, the heck USDC is a liquidity pool. So. Yeah. So they're giving you S hex. So this is what the USDC, what you'll be getting 13%. So it's not that bad. I mean, these numbers are crazy. But the other thing is these numbers fluctuate. Uh, Marrero, has any of your numbers fluctuated for the bond? Let me know. I'm pretty sure they have. 
Good luck on robbing me. <laughs> I will go out with a bang. Hey, Joshua Felder, I hear you. Exactly right. It's getting crazy. Hi, Eric. Can you use Unstoppable Domain Wallet to transfer crypto to heck? Uh, Brian P., I do not know. I do not know. I don't think so. Because you can't buy heck. You can only send it to your MetaMask, but there's no way you're going to be able to buy heck with it. So in other words, you can send something to your MetaMask, but is it going to be uh, something that you can swap into heck? That's the question. It's going to have to be on the Phantom Network, which I don't know if you can actually dictate which networks you can send money out of. I haven't done it yet. So uh, one of these days, this is all new. So I haven't done it, but maybe somebody else here has. Uh, so we'll find out. But sorry, I can't help you with that. All right. Okay. Let's see. Bonding. Marrero. I can argue that I don't have control until it's in my bank account. Is fiat. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. This is like ludicrous. IRS says that staked amount can be claimed and you can turn it into fiat. I heard there's a case in court now. Yeah, that, that's ridiculous. That's absurd. That is really, really absurd because you, I, I don't know where they've been, but I know you can automatically, um, when you get dividends from stocks, you can automatically just have it rebuy. That's almost the same thing. In fact, it is the same thing. So I don't understand how they're sitting here trying to act like you're going to be paying Every time there's a rebase, you got a taxable event all of a sudden. That's crazy. It should just be like normal. This is how much the rebase was for one year. But the problem they have, I don't think these companies are, they're not with the government entities. They're not banks. So they can't do this regulation stuff and pull that on them right now. So I know what the United States is going to do. They're going to regulate these DAOs. You know it's coming. You know it. Okay, so whatever coin I use to bond, I get heck repayment. Exactly, Will Craw. You get S heck, which is more valuable. You want S heck. That's what you get when you bond. That rebases every eight hours. That's it in a nutshell. You got it. Bought some crow the other day. I think it will blow up. Ah, ah, yes. CRO, thank you so much, A3 Saval, for mentioning that. I bought some CRO as well because it was only 50 cent or something. Uh, so again, you guys know the, the rules. If there's a coin, crypto, or any investment, whether it's stocks and it's cheap enough where you can make a small investment and still get a lot of, of the coin or a lot of the stock, that's when you should enter and take a little bit of risk. If it blows up, you win. If it goes, stays neutral and doesn't do anything much, okay. Or goes down a little, so what? You get a little bit of money back. But if it blows up, you win. And that's what we want here, ladies and gentlemen. We want to win. All right. Okay, I got it now. Thanks, Eric. Will Craw 88 thank you so much for uh, sticking with it because that's how you learn. A lot of people give up and then they miss out on potentially a lot of money that can help them and their family. So you just never know. Your bond window will show you the amount of SHEC staked, uh, SHEC stake tech, and it changes just like the regular stake, but it seems it changes faster. I'll have to test that theory. Yeah, it, yeah, exactly. It does seem to change because, like I said, uh, when we were talking with Prometheus yesterday, uh, the the bonds were at like twelve percent and eleven percent, and then yesterday they were at thirteen percent. I was like, I could have sworn I just looked at that yesterday, and it was in the twelves and elevens. So who knows? All right. VVS Finance. Joshua Felder keeps talking about this VVS Finance. OK, look, I actually went to go look this up uh, earlier today. And it didn't seem like much was happening. So I'm going to pull this up. Because here it is. And it seemed like. Nothing's happening. We'll go find out. Let's go check. It's what we do here, ladies and gentlemen. If you're new, please smash the like button. We go live and we go checking things out. Uh, yeah, this is this is what I saw. And I don't even know what they're on. 
But this is what I was looking at here. And it, then I realized it was crypto.com type of thing, which now meant in order for me to get these nice APR numbers, I got to deal with Crow and this VVS stuff. And I was like, well, that's interesting for what I'm doing. I don't want to do all do this right here because none of this says rap memo. None of it says S Klima. I mean, I need to see the Dow stuff over here. None of this says, you know, anything that I'm S heck. So I'm like, I'm not going to go off on the reservation to get 265% APR when we already have thousands of percent APR. So it kind of makes no sense. I mean, it makes sense for some people. I mean, you can't you can't say nothing bad about 200% APR, 600% APR. All right. So uh, I don't have a, a determination yet on this. I don't even know what mines are. But um, I just uh, went over here and saw this. And so then I was kind of like, eh, I don't know. Uh-oh, here we go. Auto VVS stake and forget. Here we are, ladies and gentlemen, 3,000%. Now, now, now we're talking. We have something happening here. 0.1% unstaking fee if withdrawn within 72 hours. Is this three days? Uh, they got a 2% fee. What is this? Oh, this is a bounty situation. Only applies within three days of staking. Unstaking after three days will not include a fee. Timer resets every time you stake. Okay, so you just got to be in for three days or more. I mean, four days or more. I can't say nothing bad about this. This is auto staking. And this is VVS at 3,000%. What? 0.25% of all auto VVS pool pending rewards. This is crazy. I like it. Total state. <laughs> what is that? Total amount of VVS state. Okay. So now we need to find out what's VVS. How much is it worth? Maybe you guys know. Yeah. And I saw this bling swap thing and I was like, whoa, what's this? And then it was limited with what I could do. But this VVS token, I guess we're going to have to eventually look at. It only has certain tokens, and they're not the ones I want to play with. That was the problem I looked at. I was like, that's not cool. What is this? 12, what is that? What coin is this? Oh, no, 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 no. We're not connecting. Okay, well, that's the extent of the VVS search so far. Maybe somebody else can chime in and, uh, and let us know what you have to say about it. Uh, crystal farms could be something interesting. Oh, that's what's point zero 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 one two nine. Okay. Well, now here we are. We have a point one, two, three zeros, ladies and gentlemen, the kind of stuff that I like to get into when it's cheap, <laughs> like this, my 40, 50 bucks just to get their, uh, you know, a million tokens or something, or 300 or 500,000, whatever the case may be. Um, here we go. VVS crypto coin. So let me know your thoughts, whoever's interested in VVS, because many people have mentioned this over the last week or two. Um, the microwave edition. Let's see what we have. I'm going to go through this right here. Let's go look down. Here we are. So it's only, this is only traded on crypto.com. Hmm. Okay. VVS finance markets. So it's their own coin, their own thing. They're doing it crypto.com. They were running off of the, uh, Let's go see what happened. Here we go. Yeah, they came out last week. They were down to three zeros and a one. Now we're at 
three zeros and a one still. So it's only, well, whatever, it dropped a little. One, four, one, 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 two, seven. It's still, still in the same ballpark as far as I'm concerned. All right. Well, it's going to have a up and down because it just came out. And it's a crypto.com token, apparently, or coin. So that's interesting. All right. Well, I don't I don't know. I guess it's just like a Shiba. I guess it's just like a, any of these other ones. So uh, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. You can invest a little. Crypto.com is trying to make waves. They somehow spent $700 million for 20 years for the Staples Center naming rights. I also have another gym, been in this other platform for eight months. What? 1% per day with compounding drip community. Joshua Felder's been holding out on us. Uh, 1% a day, man, it is, is significant, especially if it's compounding. 365% plus compounding every day. That I don't know what that number comes to, but that's incredible. Where is that? Um. Auto VVS. Well, yeah, exactly. I like that. That's a gym. Yes, it is. Auto staking for VVS. That could be a gym. That's that's pretty impressive. Imagine if VVS hits one cent while auto compounding. I know. I know, Joshua Felder. We can only imagine. I don't know how that's going to happen because from what I can see, we, we need more. We need some more. Um, cause right now crypto.com is an exchange. Apparently they're doing some sort of farming and lending and all kinds of things now acting like a bank. So we're going to have to find out what's going on with them. Yeah. Um, it's just like if Sheba hits one cent, it's just like if safe moon hit one cent. it's the same. Lots of people have millions of dollars. <laughs> I've worked at those coins because those start out with seven zeros and six zeros in front. So even 50 bucks ends up being 5 million or 50 million coins. So, um, yeah, let me know about this 1%, man. You holding out. Tell us about the drip. And we'll have to talk about it on Wednesday because it's one hour, 47 minutes in. And please smash the like button, ladies and gentlemen. And also, let me know if anybody saw the trailer. If anybody's got a notification from YouTube tonight, that would be grateful. Oh, how can I forget? Oh, my goodness. I haven't even ran a commercial yet, but I'm not. Here's what I'm going to do. Uh, for some reason, I can't get background for this. This is weird. Let me see something here. No, I can't. All right. No background. So it looks like I'm going to be in the background when I show the T-shirts. Nobody's coming to save you. You can order these now at the StopStrugglingNow.com website. Here's the... Uh, t-shirt for nobody's coming to save you it's a dual dual reference by the way some people would say oh okay that's a, a you know reference to jesus or something other people are like oh that's financial so you know it's a discussion topic but nobody is coming to save you you can order your shirts now they'll be out in three weeks you'll be the first to get them and here's the hoodie nobody's coming to save you Hoodie, SSN Nation. All right. And then have a new SSN Nation hat as well. And what I mean by new, you'll notice the uh, blues on the top, blue trims, a little bit different. So that'll be the new addition coming out. In fact, New edition is here, not coming out. It's here. All right. New edition. All right. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, let me know. Go to stopstrugglingnow.com. Check out SSM merchandise. Okay. You have to manually rebase each day. Lance Bentley, where do you have to on VVS? Is that what you're referring to? Because on the uh, Hector, the 4-4. It's auto, it's auto staking, auto rebase. So you must be talking about VVS. I don't know which one you're referring to. Let me know. Lot love, nice, driven fortitude. Thank you. Lance Bentley, it's powerful, man. And the Manor Farm coming out too. Okay, Is, what are we talking about, Joshua Felder? Please let us know, Drip. I don't, I'm not familiar with Drip. 
what's drip drip uh crypto oh there is a there's a drip crypto drip community um crypto drip no all right you guys are gonna have to give me more information than drip okay so for the drip you have to manually do the what do you mean manually do the rebases you have to manually rebase each day all right lance bentley i'm not familiar with this drip this one percent daily drip community and the manor farm okay drip community oh i saw that didn't i yes drip community here we go all right he gave us he gave us a little uh clue okay and the manor farm this is what we're talking about token of the network drip bp20 machines of binance smart chain trade stake liquidity farm uh, hmm swap white paper no this looks a little uh generic like compared to the new guys but uh let's see if they have anything here hmm all right drip networks faucet is a low risk high reward contract that operates similarly to a high yield certificate of deposit by paying out one percent daily return on investment up to 365 percent interesting players can compound players okay wait what does players mean can compound and extend their earnings through deposits hydrating compounding rewards as well as through team-based referrals okay team-based referrals player info team airdrop direct airdrop okay uh there's a casino okay this is interesting this here is going to be interesting okay v1 exchange pancake swap all right casino i'm pretty sure oh, it opens treasury creed chain link okay this looks to be something totally different I guess somebody's been playing around with this. BNB changes into drip, so they have their own exchange. 10% tax is applied on sales. Slippage tolerance, 3%. Okay. Chart, uh, whatever this. Uh, okay. Chart. all right well this looks like a little more research gonna have to happen drip community invictus dao is another one with 75k rebase every five days okay well while we're uh, searching around i've heard of invictus i've never checked it out though i guess we might as well do a research it's money making mondays you never know what opportunities come along uh is this it buy i in dash i think i'm on the dash treasury 73 million state 82 portfolio market cap 214 million 75 percent apy more like a time 806 which uh time is 10 times this amount so it's way below that that's interesting bonding 45 million 3 million 10 million 14 million very good they do uh stable coins uh seven percent mm. okay uh interesting uh, you can get this on Nexo and and uh, Celsius higher rate, huh? Let's see here. 
staking we can't get in for one that stake unstake connector okay so this looks like another small dow this is incredible there's way too many of these all right let's see what we got drip is from fly university greg malone welcome to the ssn nation money making monday live stream okay fly university i get you joshua felder i have to look more into the manor farm portion lance okay yeah this is a extend uh, another learning curve joshua felder <laughs> i see connect binance smart chain eric okay oh okay i think i have binance smart chain so let's go look let's go see maybe it has to activate it has to activate no doubt oh wait what's this chart no i don't need that here we go sharing drip community all right give me a second we'll get to it uh what happened oh i probably got to switch networks okay or it's not letting me do it on the live is that what's happening it's like what's going on it won't open up that's interesting yeah it won't it won't open up on the live or it's probably not letting me switch networks um i'm not on binance so not this one yeah i can't connect yeah it's not letting me that's weird that's strange that's really strange oh well we'll have to check it out i'll know on wednesday i'll look into it lance bentley the farm will go well okay it's on solana cheap oh beautiful okay fees yes exactly we like cheap fees yes lance it was my first one that was simple for a newbie to start okay We'll come out with the video on Drip Community very soon. Okay, that would be very, very helpful, Joshua Felder, since you brought it up. <laughs> that's another one hidden for the gems. But again, that's going to be a tall order when we know about it. Wonderland, Olympus, Time, Klima, and they're all functioning. So it's going to be very, very interesting. And I think they all beat 1% a day, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, that's going to be very interesting. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have to wrap this up tonight. So hopefully you enjoyed and learned something. I um, wanted to also say it's a one hour, 58 minutes. Please smash the like button. I'm going to run video and I guess nobody got notifications or saw the intro. So let me know if anybody saw those and I'm going to run a video. Let's see which one today. Uh, I'm going to do something a little different because, you know, I've been the Vista Kana guy, right? So a lot of people don't know what's in Vistacana at the panorama section. And you guys have seen this before, the video that shows the Zen place. And I'm going to show this right now. So I'll run it and I'll have a little break. I got to get a drink for a second and then I'll be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, just had to have that little bit of break. Okay, so let's see what else we got to talk about. And then we're going to wrap this up because we're two hours in, ladies and gentlemen. And please join us on Wednesday night at 8.50 p.m. And on Wednesday night, you have seen people with the icon. They are, they are the only ones that can be in the live stream chat. Everybody can watch. 
but the people with the icon who are members of the channel are the only ones that can be in the chat room on Wednesday nights. All right, where can I follow you at, Joshua Felder? All right, Lance, I will just do a video on this channel. I just like giving value. That's all. Stay tuned, buddy. Thank you so much, Joshua Felder. I appreciate that. Wilson Koo, he says, I got notification. Thank you so much. I'm glad to hear that. It looks like I'm back in the doghouse because only one person has said it so far. So I'm back in the doghouse. <laughs> How can I get icon? Lance Bentley, that means you have to become a member of the channel. If you're on your laptop or phone under the chat room, there's a join button or you have to go to the Stop Struggling on Now YouTube channel and hit the join button to become a member. That's about the only way that I know of. And it's not sometimes not hard to find that join button. And I'm going to put in the chat uh, where you can go to the channel, the Stop Struggling on Now YouTube channel. You can go there and become a member if you would like. That would be awesome. I'd appreciate it. And uh, don't want to be left out, Lance Bentley. No problem. That means hopefully we'll see you on Wednesday night. We'll have different subject matters. We don't talk about crypto all the time. But ultimately, it rolls around to that because crypto is one of the hottest things going right now, basically because of all these DAOs running around giving people these ungodly amounts of APYs or APR. So that's going to always be a topic over the next probably five or six months if this keeps up. All right. How is Klima doing for you? I'm on the fence on that one. Klima's doing fine. It's the same as everybody else. Rebase every eight hours. Except it's at 40,000 APY now. When we first started, it was like 30, 31. Now it's up to 40 because more people are doing the bonding over there too. So it's uh, rising and they still have it. It's a Mark Cuban situation. So it's not too bad. So it's working too. Obsidian, the code keeper. Welcome to the SSN Nation Money Making Monday live stream. Thank you so much for being here. I just got my notification just now. Beautiful. I'm glad you showed up. Thank you so much. And let me know as well. Speedo Ninja started bonding with MIM yesterday and Hector DAO. Beautiful work, man. 13% in four days. Got to love it. Plus the rebase and getting S heck for it. Oh, man. Oh, I'll be here Wednesday. We'll get all joined up before. Thank you so much, Lance Bentley. I humbly appreciate that. Thank you. And drip will be way easier and cheaper. Really? Okay. Well, I don't know what you mean way easier and cheaper because... Uh, it appears it has its own native token, but it looks like they have other things going on too. So I'll, uh, I'll wait for your video. It's going to be awesome as usual, I'm sure. All right. What about the hyper fund that is similar to drip at Joshua Feld? You know anything about it? Hyper fund. Don't know about that one. I bonded heck with USDC, Chris Marotta. Welcome to the SSN nation money making Monday live stream. I bonded. I bonded heck with USDC. I am unclear as to how much USDC I should use to bond. Can someone explain this? Uh, actually, it's whatever you want. There's no set amounts when it comes to crypto. So whatever you want to put in, that's what you're going to be earning on for those four days. And if you use 4.4, four, which one did you use also? Did you do the 4.4 four or the 1.1? One, 4.4 one? Four, four means that it's auto staking. So they're actually giving you rebase rewards as well versus one, one, you get none of that auto staking going on. All right. Put a little money to get a feeling of how bonding goes on my first bonding. Exactly. That's all you have to do. Just start out small. You don't have to go in there with blaze with 10, 20, 50, or like somebody selling on a live stream, $80,000 for your first time. Just put a little bit in, check it out and see if that's what you like. Wise suggestion speedo ninja obsidian the code keeper i hate i missed all the knowledge obsidian the code keeper you can always hit that replay button no problem start at the beginning you didn't miss a whole bunch but we talked about a lot of things and actually i went back to getting banned <laughs> because i started going off about some books and, and some you know some situations that i probably shouldn't be talking about but it i went there chris Murata, 
All right. Thanks. I'm glad that helped out. Hyper fund. I don't like. Okay. Glad to hear it. Oh, Chris Murata, 4-4. Four, four. Okay. Then you did, if you did a 4-4, four, four, it's auto staking. Four days. It's locked for four days. And then they just automatically put the S heck. If we're talking about Hector DAO, they, well, we have to be. They get, they put the S heck into your account. So you don't have nothing to do other than at the end of four days, I haven't bonded yet. So at the end of four days, I don't know how that works because I don't know if it's on automatic where it just stays bonded or if you actually have to rebond on the fourth or fifth day. That I don't know. Eric, you can do an interview with Forex, the person that owns Drip. Dude is really smart. Okay, I'll have to look into it because why I don't what is this word Forex? Foreign exchange? Is does this have something to do with Drip? Because that's one of those areas that I don't really like getting into. But hey, if it helps people out, we'll find out about it. Uh, that could work. Thanks for letting me, Joe. Let me know, Joshua Felder. Esteban Opio, I have a balance on Wonderland and all fees were charged, but it is not state. What am I missing? Okay, Esteban, probably. Okay. Um, okay, well, I'll start it this way. Did you use MetaMask, first of all? So what happened is when you went over to wonderland.money, you had to approve. Okay, that's the first thing you did. So then you would have had approval. There would have been some fees from the AVAX. Okay, what you have to do is you have to have a balance in AVAX. They take fees. So when you, okay, so you approve, a little fee comes out, little gas. After you hit approve, then you have to stake. And then it stakes and there's a little gas. That's pretty much it. So the only way it doesn't happen is if you have no AVAX for the fees, then it would not stake at that point. At least that's about the only way I know that you could not be staked. I don't know of any other way that that could have happened. So check your whatever wallet you're using, see if you have any AVAX in there. And what I mean by AVAX, more than more than a dollar. It should only have been like 30 cent or 50 cent or something, but hopefully you have like five dollars in there of AVAX at least. All right. That could be the only thing. And the other thing is when you go into your MetaMask, you can actually, as long as you're on the network, Avalanche Network, just go over to the right in MetaMask and hit activity. So you should see something like uh approve, swap something like that you should see these transactions if they happened it'll it'll be on the activity all right same as the guy in hector oh he's acting like prometheus going around talking about it that's funny that's cool i'd like to have this guy on oh look at this i still got smart coin and i got it locked like you said hey i still got smart coin too but again, I hope you invested a little bit because that, what was it? It was some crazy, wasn't it? One, one million, five million. I mean, it was some stupid number, too good to be true. Uh, and quite frankly, I don't know what's up with smart coin. But all I know is I hope you did not. It was a casino. So you can only put a little bit of money in there. And as you know, when I did the video, I only had like, I don't even know. Wasn't it 20 bucks, 30 bucks? something like that. And I actually had a problem with putting in like 112 or something, 110 bucks, and it didn't go through. And then the next day and the next day and the next week and the next month, all of a sudden this thing went to point zero 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 nine. <laughs> it's all crazy. All crazy. So I don't know what to say about it. I don't, I'm not, I'm not hopeful for smart coin. They keep talking like they're going to do something and, and help people or do, I don't know. I'm not uh, smart coin casino. Just like when I said the video, only put in what you can lose. Cause this is a casino. And just like all the DOs, they're all casinos at this point. You don't know what's going to happen. So again, 
Do not do anything financially irresponsible by saying I'm going to put in 10,000, 20,000, 50,000, 100,000. I think that's irresponsible. Put in just a little bit because even a little bit, you win on these. That's all I'm saying. Even if it's only a few hundred, you're still going to win a year from now. So that's it. But smart coin, it hasn't done well. Same as a guide, Hector. Cool stuff. New guest coming. Wonderland CEO. <laughs> that would be nice. Uh, I should probably get him on since uh, I'm investing in that too. His name, his nickname is Forex. Okay. All right. Thanks, Eric. I'll let you know on Wednesday. All right. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Let me know. Just check your activity and see what happened. It'll let you know. But any of that that I just said, Make sure you have AVAX in the account, in the wallet, because that's where they take the gas fees for when you get approved and when you stake. So if it didn't stake, you might have been out of gas fees or you might have to stake a little bit less. That's it. All right. I had to make sure drip works before I told you. <laughs> Joshua Felder. Hey, let's put it this way. It could work for three months. It could work for six months. It could work for a year. And then all of a sudden not work. We just never know, right? So that's why you always have to put in a little bit. You never know what's going to happen. I am earning more smart coin. Hopefully the project has better price action. A city in the code keeper. I'm glad to hear that, but I don't have hardly any money in there. Like I said, all I would have ever had was 150 or 130 or something. But the problem was it's all of a sudden had some sort of, it went from, I can't remember what the coin started at. But then it, I saw it went to 0. 0.00 something. And I was like, OK, no sense in me sweating why I couldn't put in this extra hundred and some odd dollars. It was too funny. Eight months of drip vetting. OK, Joshua Felder, I can appreciate that. You were taking the risk. So you were like saying, OK, let's see if this works. That's kind of like what we're looking at here with the Hectors and the Olympus and the Times and the Klimas and all these guys. We're sitting there hoping they would last nine or ten months. That would be awesome. All right. Well, I appreciate that. So I'm only looking forward to the video. So we'll break it out, please, in a few days, because it's very interesting, because it doesn't look anything like the DAOs we have here. So it looks a little more generic, but a little different way to move around. So we'll see. Can't let my people down. That's right. Thank you so much. Yeah, I seen that, too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, exactly. All right, ladies and gentlemen, two hours, 12 minutes in. I'm going to have to wrap it up. If you like what we're talking about, please subscribe to the channel and then click the all notification bell. And we'll see what we're going to have on Wednesday night. But please join us. I'm going to maybe try to have on some more special guests now that we're into this little crypto scene right now. Maybe some of these guys might want to come on and talk about their crypto projects. That would be pretty awesome. And Joshua Felder hit me up with the email to the, uh, his nickname is Forex, but hit me up with the name and all this and then what uh, where they hang out at. And maybe I'll have a chat with them. All right. If he's going to have a chat with me, I should put it that way. All right. Esteban Opio. Same thing happened to me. Buy more AVAX and send it to your MetaMask and it goes through. A3 Saval, thank you so much. I had a feeling it might be that, too. I'm, I, in fact, I'm almost pretty sure not enough AVAX. Thanks for uh, mentioning that, A3 Saval. Joshua finding all new crypto game. Exactly, Curtis Davis. I love it. He's vetting them for us. So I appreciate it. Y'all be safe, Driven Fortitude. Thank you so much for being here once again. And with the icon next to your name, I appreciate that. Andy Ortiz with the icon. Have a good night, Eric and friends. Thank you so much for saying that. And I will see you again. And he says, thank you, A3 Saval. Curtis Davis, more crypto gaming. Hey, it's all games, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for your time, Eric. You are a gentleman and a scholar. Obsidian, the code keeper. Thank you so much for saying that. I appreciate that. And once again, I appreciate everybody's support here. And I appreciate everything you do to help out other people here. And I hope to see you Wednesday night at 8.50 p.m. A tax crypto expert will be nice to have. I don't know if a tax crypto expert can tell us what's going to happen since the House hasn't actually passed any new tax laws. But why not? We can all speculate, I guess. So uh, I'll see if we can get one of those guys on because their season is now. 
these guys are going to be busy for the next five months. So getting one on here to talk about it may be a little hard, but why not, Victor Morrell? I'm up for the challenge. Let me see if I can find a crypto guy because this is really going to come up, especially with the 4-4, especially with staking. And there's going to be other protocols that are going to come with this rebase. So it's going to come up. There's, it's going to come to a head. So we're going to have to get this all sorted out. So then we can make moves. Victor, facts. Curtis Davis, Mr. Financial. Andrew Miller, thank you so much for being here. Very nice to see you once again with the icon next to your name. Thank you so much for being continued member and good night to you as well. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go on that one. And with all that said, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. And please like, subscribe, and click the bell below so you get the latest updates. And I know it's hard out here. And that's why we have to look at all the alternatives. I gave you all of the asset classes tonight. Now it's up to you to determine where you want to put your extra money into that's going to make money for you. Because if you're going to have to keep working for your money and the economy keeps going bad, you're going to have to make a hell of a lot more money and you're not going to be able to keep up. So therefore, you're going to have to get assets that pay you like I've been saying all year long and 2022 is here in about 34, 33 days. So don't get left behind, ladies and gentlemen. You have all the knowledge and tools at your disposal. So hope to see you again and please watch the videos. And with all that said, keep your head up. Keep moving. And I'm